Hi, I'm Fiona here from Nessa and I'm here with the lovely Claire, Women's Health Physio, and today we're talking about vaginas. Uh, so um, we have just actually launched a new product called Vagina Victory Oil, um, which is for pre and post perennial massages and looking after the vagina area. And Claire is going to answer a lot of our burning questions about pre-vaginal birth, post and just recovery yeah. really. So um, I think something we get asked a lot is a lot of women just don't really realize that there's a lot you can do pre and post mm -hmm. um, baby um, to help kind of recovery and all those things. So Claire is gonna give us a little short intro to herself and where we're going. Yeah, so I'm a women's health physio, so I help women throughout life, but um, a lot of the time through pregnancy and postnatal is where I see a lot of women. Um, with regard to kind of pre preparing for birth, so thinking about the perineum. So the perineum is that area between the vagina and the anus, which is very vulnerable to vaginal tears, which often as women we're like terrified of, aren't we? Yeah. Understandably, no, when you talk about a vaginal tear, you just think, oh goodness, how it will ever be the same again. But there is actually techniques that you can do to basically, if you think about any other muscle in the body, if you were gonna put a muscle through the most it's ever been through, like a marathon, yeah. you'd probably be having sports massages, yeah. you'd be having some physio, you'd be really, really working hard on that. It's exactly the same, but pelvic floor muscles often get neglected because we're just like, oh well, they're just going to come out and we'll see yeah. what happens. So perineal massage is essentially a technique that you can use from 35 weeks of pregnancy okay. to help gradually stretch the perineum, um, the pelvic floor muscles, the skin, the connective tissue. Okay. Um, and that's where using a, a really amazing oil can yeah. really benefit because lots of oils have scent yeah. and the vagina is essentially meant to be unscented, left yeah. alone. Yeah. It's, it's not a sterile environment, but it shouldn't be lots and lots of products. And actually, it's got, it's got, it looks after itself beautifully. Yeah. And when we, as women, are wanting it to smell really great or <laughs> look yeah. really great, we can sometimes interfere and cause problems and actually okay. affect that kind of natural balance of yeah. bacteria in the vagina. Okay. And we especially don't want that because we're more at risk of things in pregnancy anyway. Yeah. Some women are more likely to get sure. thrush or bacterial vaginosis. So the last thing we want to do is adding anything else to the yeah. picture. So that's why we need an unscented natural oil okay. to do our parent and massage. Okay. Great. So we're going to talk that through. Yeah. Um, but thinking about afterwards, and I think afterwards we're like, well, we've done all the hard work before. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I've had my birth, let's just leave it all alone and then just hope for the best. Yeah, yeah. Um, so really for those six weeks, initial six weeks, you know, okay. 90% of first time mums will have an element of tearing. Yeah. Now that sounds terrifying, it sounds like a lot of us. Yeah. But that can be anything from a small skin tear or a small labial tear okay. to a, a, a more severe tear which would involve the anus. Okay. okay. So there's a big spectrum of tears. Yeah. But it's Essentially, it's going to affect most of us if we're having a vaginal birth. Yeah, for sure. And any change to a muscle or uh, or skin creates a scar, okay. and that can cause restrictions. Okay. So I think we're very good at telling women, right, go and do your pelvic floor exercises after yeah. you squeeze, get strong again. But what I experience a lot in the clinic is actually women are doing their absolute best. They're working on their pelvic floor, but actually the scar tissue is restricting okay. their muscles. Okay. So I was talking about like a bicep. You know, imagine if you had a cut or a tear in your bicep, and yeah. it was all stitched together. But you have this quite a big scar in it, it would be quite restricted. Yeah. So you need the muscle to be able to do the contract and let go. Okay. But it's kind of restricted. Yeah. So your pelvic floor is almost sitting in a, in a half range position. Okay. By working on the scar and the muscles around it, you can actually allow it to fully relax, okay. which means that you can allow it to fully contract, which is actually okay. what is a functional pelvic floor. Okay. So I'd say to any woman who's maybe been doing their pelvic floor and you're thinking, I'm still leaking a bit of urine, yeah. I'm still uncomfortable, or sex is really uncomfortable yeah. afterwards, you just cannot be doing some okay. per basic perineal massage. It's exactly the same principle. Yeah. But you might feel the scar tissue now afterwards. Yeah, um, afterwards. Okay. So you, well, the techniques will be slightly different. different. Okay. Um, but the principle very much the same. Okay. But you wouldn't be doing that until six weeks afterwards. Okay. Uh, as six well, so very similar to kind of C-section massage. But those first six weeks. Yeah. Really, you just want to keep the vagina clean. Okay. But you don't want to be interfering. No. It is very good at cleaning itself. It's very yeah. good at looking after itself. So I would say just have showers. You don't want to put the scented product in the vagina, as no. we've mentioned. Just get the shower head and basically make sure that it's clean. Do your okay. regular pad changes. Yeah. But you don't want to be having very long bars and things like tea tree and other products that no, actually okay. are not, we don't need to be putting those products on our vagina. We just need to leave it alone. Okay. Let it heal, let it clean, but keep it clean. Okay. And, and then from six weeks, I would suggest to women, you know, have a feel, have a look. It can just feel very daunting to yeah. think about it, to even look or, or feel. 
Um, but actually, if you're thinking about having sex again, it sometimes helps for you to really just know what it feels like down yeah. there before you go into sex and then think, oh, well, that was awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And often it's better than women think. But yeah. actually, sometimes it's helpful if you just have done a bit of massage to build your confidence up. Yeah, so you're not course. going into having sex feeling really tense. Because yeah, yeah. if you're tense, your pelvic floor's tense, sex is probably going to be uncomfortable. Yeah, okay. um, so that's why it's a lovely thing to do, even if you just do it for a few weeks, okay. just to try and desensitize and work on that scar yeah. tissue. Okay. Again, if you're feeling like it's particularly difficult, do see a pelvic health or yeah. a health physio get some particular advice yeah. for you because your pelvic floor will be completely different to the next person depending on where your tear is and what your tear okay. is um, so I always suggest having an assessment if able but that's not possible for everyone it's not widely available on the NHS yeah. at the moment if you're not symptomatic of something okay. like incontinence or sexual pain so right, okay. there's a lot that you can do and I think that's great we can empower and we can do yeah, that definitely. okay great so Claire's going to take us through a couple of videos um, to show us how to perform perennial